A long-awaited reopening is now official. A lot of you have been waiting for this. The ribbon cut on the brand new Buffalo AKG Art Museum. Construction first began back in 2019, but was delayed because of the pandemic. The total price tag for the renovation, $230 million. There's now more than twice the amount of space for all of that art that the museum has collected in museum leaders hope this will draw more art fans to western New York from around the world. So my co-anchor Jeff Russo has been live at the AKG all day. Jeff, a lot of celebrating today, right? Well, good evening, Leah. Hello, everyone. Even a rainy and cloudy day really couldn't overshadow the excitement of this occasion. A major day for one of Buffalo's biggest masterpieces of celebration. Years in the making of the new state of the art Buffalo AKG Art Museum behind me. The eyes of the art world really on Buffalo today as hundreds gathered for a ribbon cutting ceremony worthy of a $230 million project. The event included some beautiful musical performances today and comments from many of the people that worked diligently to make the new Buffalo AKG a reality. There were representatives both here from Western New York, across the country, across the world, including Denmark, Finland, and Norway. The new museum now has double the gallery space to show off what is truly an internationally celebrated collection of modern and contemporary art, and also the new Ralph C. Wilson Town Square, a gathering spot for the community, and part of the AKG that will always be free and open to the public. Now that theme of community front and center today, really starting with the name, right, Buffalo, AKG Art Museum, a place those here today say will be a welcoming space for all people to come and enjoy what is truly a world-class art institution right here in the Queen City. Thanks to our new state-of-the-art 21st century campus, we now have the opportunity to empower people to dream big, to actualize and activate in welcoming spaces their own creativity through the transformative power of art. Today, our vision reflects a museum as a place to share content, inspire creativity, hear and understand different perspectives, and forge connections with each other, serving as a dynamic force for positive change in our community. To reflect culture, to reflect hope, to reflect love. See, I wonder, 60 years from now, from today, as we listen to the bell ring, what will be reflected within the waters of this space that we now call Buffalo AKG? So many parts of this museum, including the mirrored ceiling in that new town square that were designed for everyone to be able to literally see themselves in this space, a true community gem for all of us. Now the newly designed art museum, a big investment, right? $230 million, but it's expected to attract tourists from all across the world. Joining me now, senior reporter Eileen Buckley with that part of the story and the eyes of the, you know, the eyes of the art world on Buffalo and for good reason with this incredible state of the art facility. They right? truly are. As you said, it's been a major investment in this new redesign of the art museum, but they expect it's going to attract art tourists from all over the globe to help boost our local economy. For this to be a brand new and grand opening, it's a beautiful thing in regards to bringing money back to our area. Lisa Thaggard of Buffalo calls herself an art lover. She was among the many guests invited for the grand opening of the AKG Art Museum. The redesign has doubled the space of the art museum's collection and is one of the most extensive art collections of contemporary art in the world, making it very attractive to art tourists. Taking in our arts, culture and architecture is the number one activity when visiting Buffalo. A lot of people think it's uh, going to Niagara Falls. Actually, it's not. The purpose of a trip truly is our arts and culture, our architecture, followed by food, um, outdoor recreation, and shopping, obviously. Uh, so this really just will elevate all of that. Visit Buffalo Niagara President and CEO Patrick Kaler tells me the new AKG is a game changer. 
our tourism is expected to have a big economic impact on Buffalo, but who exactly is going to come to this new museum? Well, it's for that leisure visitor, both domestically and internationally. We also use it for group tours as well, both domestically and internationally, but also it's event space. So for meetings and conventions to utilize the space for um, uh, activities, venues, welcome receptions, or just spouse tours as well. So we're able to really utilize the uh, Buffalo AKG on many different levels levels for visitor interaction. So you can attract people who maybe Buffalo would have been off of their radar before, but then they start going, wait, this is exciting. Laura Worth is a luxury travel advisor who works with art tourists. She says there are plenty of big names at the AKG to bring new visitors to Buffalo. When people come to me looking to do an art trip, honestly, there's the age range is so broad. You have people who are interested in contemporary, you have interested in design. You also have older couples that want to travel and kind of see known places through a different way. One thing about us, we're building back Buffalo and it's one of the things to do so because you go to different states like I do travel, I go to museums and to know we have one actually here is a beautiful thing. Now, art gallery leaders say that normally they have about 30% of their visitors from outside of Erie County. With this new redesign, they're expecting a 10% increase to that number. They also say they're expecting a nearly $50 million economic impact to our region, Jeff. So that's pretty decent. And it's pretty decent indeed. And there's a lot to see here, right? From the, the, the new building over here to the great lawn right here. There's underground parking for the winter as well. Thank you, Eileen. And among the many highlights, so much to talk about here is the new building right behind me named the Jeffrey E. Gunlock building. Mr. Gunlock, the G now in the new AKG, and this project simply would not have happened without him. Jeffrey Gunlock in attendance today with his wife, Barbara, the Western New York native, donating $65 million for this project. The new building named after him, a new work of signature architecture that adds more than 30,000 square feet of space for special exhibitions and displays. Mr. Gunlock saying today he's extremely happy with how the new building and campus came out, and that he's proud to have his name on an art museum that gives Buffalo, in his words, a little more reason to flex and brag about Western New York to the world. The way to thank me is to make Buffalo and the world just a little bit better. Thank me by giving more and taking less. One, welcome once again to the Buffalo AKG Art Museum. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jeffrey Gunlock thanking all of the people who supported this $230 million project in a true private and public partnership. The new building is going to be open this weekend, but will need to be closed down for a few weeks to finish construction. Uh, the new Jeffrey E. Gunlock building expected to then be reopened sometime in mid-July. This new campus, if you have been driving by or walked by, is absolutely stunning. It's going to be free and open to the public starting this Thursday, running through Sunday. We're hearing that Thursday is already pretty well booked, so try to get your times if you can as people from across western New York and really the world now come here to see the brand new Buffalo AKG Art Museum. Reporting tonight from Elmwood Avenue, Jeff Russo for 7 News. Let's send it back to Leah.